I know as soon as I mention the word fonts, sometimes people start snoozing in the back row, but trust me, this is a really easy, quick one that I think will be helpful to make sales on your t-shirts and your artwork. So here I'm using a font called Game Girl, but are there special characters inside the font? Hmm, I'm in Notepad, I go into Format, Font, and I can see I'm in Game Girl. But what are the special characters? I have to type out A, B, C, D. You have to go through the whole alphabet and start typing to see if any special characters show up. Or do I? In this video, I'm going to show you a free tool that is actually buried inside of Windows 10 that not many people know about. And it's really cool because you can identify special characters to use in your fonts that may be hidden inside the fonts. So let's go explore the underbelly of the fonts. Okay, so what you want to do if you're using your regular, you know, Windows laptop or regular Windows computer is go to the little Windows button down on the bottom left, click the start button, and then type in character map. And that's going to give you an app called character map. And when I click on it, it's going to open up this character map right here. I'm just going to move this over to the side. Okay, so character map. Now I'm inside Game Girl Classic. That's the font that I'm using right here. If I go into font, it'll pop up. I'm using Game Girl Classic. There are special characters in this font. So for example, there's a little copyright button. There's a little signal, a little uh, symbol here. There's all the ones with the special little squigglies above it. There's a heart. So let's say I want to make the heart, put that in my text. All I need to do is select it. And then down here it says characters to copy. I click select and it moves it right down here. Then I just copy, go into whatever program I'm using. It could be Word, Photoshop, Inkscape, PowerPoint, doesn't matter. And I'll just go edit, paste. And now my symbol has popped up. Same thing here. Here's that AE that I was talking about. I'll select it down below, copy it, edit, paste. Boom, just like that. Now, if you want to have this as a desktop on your computer, so for example, you could have it so it just sits open like this, then what you would do is down at the very bottom, you're going to type into the start window character map. And then instead of opening it, you'll want to open the file location. So now when you open the file location, it's sitting here in my systems tools. And now I can right click it and I can say create shortcut. And it will say, I can't create a shortcut in that folder. Do you want me to place it on the desktop? You say yes. And then just like that, I got two monitors, that's why it's going to the other one, but that's where the character map would sit. Then if you want to use the character map, you just double click on it and then it will pop up ready to be used. What I like about this character map is now I can scroll down through all the other fonts that I've got. I've got a million billion fonts here. So one of my favorite fonts, for example, is Futura. Okay, I use that quite a bit. So here's all the Futura fonts. I'm just gonna to go to the medium one. So here's Futura. But here's all the extra symbols that I wouldn't normally see. So for example, there's that one. I can select it, copy it, and then over here, now remember, I'm using Game Girl font right now. So when I hit paste, it's not going to show up, but that's okay. I'll go format font. I'll change the font now to Futura. And now it will show up. And now whatever I type in here will be Futura font. So I can simply select the character that I would like, hit the select button, down below, copy, and then control V or paste, and it'll pop up. So this is really helpful if you have uh, if you have fonts that have special characters in it. I hope you guys found that helpful. Just a quick tip here for you. As always, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching.